What's up guys? Today we are starting season 6 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode, a lot happened. But my main thing that I was really excited for was my favorite person, Alfie, came back. I love him. And he came back and he was supposed to be helping with Tommy's plan with killing Mosley. But at the end of the episode, you can kind of see that that plan did not go according to plan. He didn't end up dead. Dude from the asylum ended up dead. Aberama ended up dead. It's like, what else could possibly happen to this family? Like, it pisses me off. Like, it didn't go according to plan. And I don't even know what Alfie was supposed to do. But he could still be in season six and i want to know more of what he could possibly do this season so i guess let's just get into the episode i forgot about this scene okay yeah arthur took the bullets out on the way back. Lizzie really found him like that. Oh, fuck. You didn't check your weapon. You're not a soldier, you're a coward. I heard you pull the trigger. I wouldn't be telling him that in this moment. If you still need a way out. Here are six of them. Although I wouldn't blame her for being furious because, like she said, he didn't even say goodbye, so... Hello? Mr. Shelby, I imagine you're curious as to who it was prevented the assassination last night. <laughs> it's a unit of volunteers bringing the bodies of your dead to you to send to heaven in your own way. What is that? Abarama's body and the other dude? Barney? <sighs> Who's gonna be the third body? I thought it was only two of them that died. You've had a crutch to lean on. Last night we kicked away that crutch. From now on, it will be us. Hmm? Who is it? You're telling me that other body was Polly? You've got to be kidding me. But like... We didn't even... We didn't even see her die. So her and Abarama are dead. She was gonna get out of there too. No matter how many lies I have to tell, I will take revenge on Tommy, shall we? I never would have thought he would have went after Tommy for this, but I mean, everyone's going after Tommy at this point, man. Four years? At this point, I just want to quit. They killed my favorite character. That 
Like, at first it was Grace, but then Grace died. And then you know what happened? The Polly, Polly died too. So, both of them are gone. L'archipel de Saint-Pierre et Miquelon. I don't know how I feel about Michael with the mustache. Je suis un bon je suis entré. You want a drink? Glass of water, please. So he isn't drinking anymore? Or is he just doing that because it's a meeting? Though he doesn't seem like the type to care if it was a meeting. Fix their boats. Maybe you should take your water into the hole. Wait, that happened because of him? No. I ordered water because I no longer drink alcohol of any kind. Good for you. Never knew you would start doing that, but. Now, I've been very patient given the circumstances. But you need to sit down and let me read my newspaper. <laughs> this is a totally different sight with Tommy. Because when has he ever been respectful? Before this goes any further, please let me explain. I will not drink. He tried. He tried to be nice. Be a black day in Miquelon. Now, my guests will be arriving shortly. I need to prepare the room. Can you show me where? I wonder who's going to be coming. We're the distillery man here to take our whiskey back. We're late. He's always early. Let's go. Is he meeting with Tommy? Hello, Tommy. There's a man out there having his face stitched back up. So he is meeting with Tommy. You've been too busy to punish the people who killed her. You know, Michael, when you're dealing with a very powerful enemy, taking revenge sometimes requires time. Four years in time, but you know. <laughs> it's good that they're basically all around the same age in a way, so. But we told Father Christmas about the party. Brought you all presents. Oh! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I guess they seem, I guess they seem to be happy, or maybe she, actually, yeah, it kind of looks like she just put on a fucking show for that, so, I don't know. Why does he seem to have gotten worse? And take advantage of the systems that are in place on Miquelon Island and offer selected boat crews the opportunity to carry on working. But this time, with a different cargo. Pulled directly from Shanghai. Michael, when it comes to this shit, you're the expert. I trust him. You seem to never trust that man. Little dear Uncle Jack in Boston. Perhaps we can meet after you've spoken with Uncle Jack Markle, who I believe is your wife's uncle, Jack Nelson. Hey! <laughs> the guy knows things that can get him killed. 
Well, I've become a better man. I now realize that whiskey is just fuel for the loud engines inside your head. That's <laughs> <laughs> your solo. I mean, look at Arthur. He seems to still be drinking. You see how he is? My fire. Put some fucking hair in your chest, huh? Everyone's really trying to get him to drink this episode. Like, the fuck? And he told him that there is an informant in your organization in South Boston. I'll tell you this in the spirit of corporate hygiene. Arthur. I figured it would be Arthur. Christmas, yes, it's Christmas. Oh, so where the fuck are the fucking presents? He's no use. He's out of it. Every day there's a question without an answer. Leak without a bucket. Me without a clue what to do. Hello, Lizzie. Hello, children, in that dead voice. Come on, Lizzie. You'll be on holiday. Being away might change him. It never does. He'll be the same way he's been since Polly died. No more Polly. No more whiskey. No more Tommy. She had a big impact on his life. She had a big impact on everyone's fucking life, man. And she's gone. Case is five pound of pure refined opium. Concerned citizen. Yeah, my name is Mr. Jones. So he turned Michael in? Even though he set him up? So he set him up. You gonna run to it? No, I don't work for him anymore. You can still answer. What if he's just trying to say Merry Christmas? Hello? Mm hmm. Fuck. What happened? Do you know who this man is? I didn't expect it to be Arthur. I thought it was just something with Tommy. Serve him opium ever again. Or someone will write Arthur Shelby's name on your chest with a bayonet. I thought she was going to somehow take him home, but she's leaving there. What the fuck? I can't talk about anything in here. I just wanted to see your face and smell your perfume. Tommy Shelby steps back into your life right away. This is what happens. Oh, I didn't expect it to be Michael in there. But again, Tommy did set him up basically, so. I already talked to him. He told me what the devil proposed. Tommy Shelby wants to do business with Jack Nelson. He wants to take on Boston? No one is taking on anyone. It's in hand. Us of the informant. We're guessing that the informant was the one that tipped off the police about me. Then the devil's plan has already begun. But it was Tommy. So who is he going to pin it on? This is my opportunity to finish it. So I'll speak to your uncle and get me the fuck out of here. Hello? Who? Sure. Why the hell not? Hmm?
I didn't expect Tommy to be there. For your Uncle Jack. Tommy, relax. Have a fucking drink. That's the third person trying to get him to drink. And before you tell me what you want me to tell him, I have a message from him to you. No deal. Should have expected it. Please, sir. So it's Uncle Jackie falling in your knees for I. Not Michael. He says no deal. Can't have white powder on his shiny black boots when he's on his way to meet the President of the United States, because, yeah. That's where he goes now. But now Michael's doing business with him in a way. You should know that it was me who tipped off the border police about the contents of Michael's suitcase. I didn't think he would actually fucking admit that. His favorite niece's husband banged up in Boston for smuggling opium. What does he do? If he intervenes and has him released, how will that play in the Oval Office? I have excellent contacts with the family that runs East Boston. The Solomon's family. Have you heard of them? Alfie. Alfie's still alive? It's like, yeah, I know he survived, but also he has cancer. I thought he would have died. Tommy. It's Ruby. She's not well. She's got a temperature of 101. The doctor's just left. What did he say? He says he thinks it's flu, but he's gonna come later to check on it. You just book a new passage. And Ruby's feeling better. It doesn't matter if you don't get here for Christmas, just as long as you get here, right? And then I'll get this business done. It's wild how he is talking to her about this with a woman in his room. See words, sir. Uh, Tiknamora. Tiknamora, oh, bang, oh, bang, over and over again. What does that even mean? To the fucking question! She said she could see a man. Uh, a man with green eyes. She was delirious. She was burning up. Who could that be? Is <sighs> And you get Curly there. Tell him to stay in the stable with Ruby's horses. And you do everything that Johnny Dogs and his wives fucking tell you. Do you understand me? This all just took a sudden fucking turn over some words. Trying to get out. Paul. They're coming for me. I didn't think he would start talking to Polly like that. Sensing that she's there. The man with the mortgage is a powerful resource, Michael. You're dead, Tommy. Get out of your fucking depth. Isn't he always? <laughs> this is a letter. Yeah, give him this letter, will you? This is a letter from the president's personal secretary suggesting Jack Nelson keep you in here for a while longer. Just until the press lose interest, Michael. Five million dollars for a shipment of powder. And when the exchange is done, we can shake hands and go our separate ways once more, eh? I feel like this time he's gonna try and kill him, like he said. He bought passage for five people from Boston to Liverpool. Five people, his wife, President Roosevelt's son, himself, and Gina Gray. Gina's coming to London, Michael. And she's leaving Michael there. Uncle Jack. You're the fucking devil! I'm ready for the conversation. I 
I swear, man. This whole episode is from the start. Why did it have to be the beginning of the episode that we had to lose Polly? Why did we have to lose Polly at all? Like, yes, I heard the reasoning in the show. I get it. But I'm still fucking pissed. She was one of my favorite characters, her and Grace. And yeah, my favorite character might be Alfie. But I love Polly so much and she's gone. And then you take a four year time jump. Are you serious? How many time jumps are going to happen in this show? I swear I am tired of them. But... I swear, I thought Michael was already going to be trying to kill Tommy already, but, you know, in his situation right now, he can't. He's stuck in jail. But I didn't expect Gina to go all the way to London, Liverpool, whatever, with her uncle. And she's, like, leaving Michael behind. Not that she can really do anything about it because, you know, like, they were just going to keep him in until, you know, it dies down from the press, but it's like... I just feel, I feel bad for Michael. He has to stay there by himself, being watched by Tommy's people, you know? He's just in a bad situation. But then, Arthur. What the hell happened to Arthur? I guess, I guess, like, yeah, Tommy is dealing with Polly's death in his own way, and I guess Arthur is dealing with it in his own way. And it's like, he, didn't have to only grieve her death but he lost Linda that he really loved and like it's a lot of shit that happened for him and I feel bad that he's on opium and you know still drinking and shit like he looked so horrible this episode like I'm hoping he gets better someday like it's not good to see him like that but I just, I just want to know what the words meant that like Ruby has been saying because whenever she, uh, Lizzie was explaining it to Tommy, he just took a turn and I don't know gypsy shit. I don't know what that means. Obviously he's scared, but I needed more detail unless they said it and I just didn't understand because I can be slow at times but we also didn't even see Alfie this episode you know I expected to and I kind of expected to see Mosley for some reason but eh. but I'm more talking about Alfie Loki I was happy to hear Tommy talk about him but also it's like I was kind of confused because like he said Alfie has cancer. I thought he would have died by now. Not gonna lie. But I'm happy he's still alive. And I hope to see him in a future episode. Instead of just like talking about him. But we'll see with that. So I guess come back for episode 2. 